And here she is, people. Isn't it glorious? <laughs> Man, this took me far longer than I thought it would to get all of these tools on here. I thought, you know, I'm just going to put some shelves on here. I already had the frame built, so, you know, put some shelves on, drill some holes, start putting all my tools in there. Just deciding which tools were going to go in there, and then deciding how to mount them, and then deciding, like, the puzzle of putting them on here together, and then maximizing the space. It took a long time. Uh, and everybody's tool cart will be different, you know, so even if you use this particular frame, you know, your tools are different and the order you want to have them in and, you know, it's just, it's just a crazy, I mean, I have, I have a lot more pliers, I have a lot more screwdrivers, but I just had to decide which ones I wanted on here and which ones I wanted to leave off. But this is 99% of the tools I use when I'm making stuff, when I'm crafting, doing hobbies. These are the tools I use. I got a whole mechanics tool set over there, you know, when I need to work on a car or something like that, you know, which I don't do very often. I can just wheel that cart out. I don't need it on here. Uh, so this is it. Uh, I built all of the frame, the shelves, everything. That's a four by eight piece of half inch plywood and there's three feet of it left. So everything was built out of that except for there's some quarter inch plywood pieces for dividers and some things like that, but that there's a very small amount. The rest of it's all built out of half inch plywood. And the amount of tools that actually fit on here is amazing. I don't know how what the square footage would be if you had these on a tool wall, but it would be huge. Uh, I just I can't believe how many drawers are just empty now. Uh, you know, stuff that was just scattered all over. It's just on this cart. It's just amazing. <laughs> so anyway, I will zoom in on each part and show you each shelf uh, up close. Well let's start here down at the bottom in the main compartment. It's just an open box uh, and it has my power tools. I got my skill saw, a multi-tool, an angle grinder down here, uh, and a palm sander. And then I also have this small box with sanding pads and grinding discs and like the little the backing plate. Stuff like that. I didn't try to get too fancy with it. It was already in that box, so I just put it in there and it, everything fits. To kind of go along with the sanding, I've you know got my little hand broom and my dust mask. Um, this is really just extra space that this stuff could fit into. Um, and then this is just a box of miscellaneous a bit set, you know, for... I don't rare, I rarely use any of this stuff, but it's handy because it's here on the cart. And so with that, the rest of that side is uh, my uh, screw guns and driver. These these particular the set came with the the belt clip, so I just went ahead and used that. I was going to make the holsters, you know, but that just seemed just too much for the space that I had so I just put some little metal plates with the spacer behind and then these belt clips just slide right in there you can get each one off without taking the other one off and it goes back on uh, these are all of my drill bits and paddle bits and miscellaneous bits if I ever need them it's a pretty nice little setup here all right the other the other side here has my hammers it's got my wooden mallet claw hammer and then a two pound sledge. I don't really use any other hammers. I have other ones but these are the ones I use. I don't know when I've ever used one of the other hammers. So, uh, And then this pocket here, this torpedo level is just sitting in there. It could probably go anywhere else but for now it goes there. Uh, this two foot level slides in there and then the behind it is my straight edges. There's two of them and they combine to make an eight foot straight edge if I need it. So. That's pretty handy to have on the cart when I need it. Above that on this side is my saws. Pretty much everything on the cart I can get to without moving anything else with the exception of my saws. So I have to move, uh, you know, this is my hacksaw. I can get that off, get the coping saw off, but I have to move both of them to get off my wood saw. It's just the way it worked out. I probably could have spent more time and come up with a better thing, but uh, that's, what I, that's what I came up with. It's going to work just fine. It's not a big deal. 
just everything else was just just easily grabbable and that was the one thing uh, and it was mostly because I wanted to protect the blades. I put this piece of pl plywood on here so none of the blade is exposed you know on any of them and that was the main reason that it's like that. Alright this is the back uh, mostly uh, the most of the room is just taken up with clamps. Uh, these are just all my small clamps you know uh, it's not all of the clamps I have, but it's most of the ones I use 90% of the time uh, when I'm building stuff, putting stuff together. So uh, I installed a paper towel dispenser here. Uh, I use paper towels all the time. <laughs> I'm always wiping up glue or whatever. You need a paper towel. Uh, hopefully that's in frame. But uh, above that is my uh, rubber gloves. I use these little straps to hold that on. Couldn't really think of a better way. I didn't want to build a a wooden box around it. I just thought that was just too much, but I had these little straps. So, you know, when I when that box is empty, I just undo the strap and put a new box in. Uh, this is pretty awesome. I got all of my small squares in this little tiny unit. Uh, I have my speed square, my small combination, my larger combination square, and then my 12 foot square. And there's just uh, I just built this in layers and just made the gaps where I wanted these tools to be. So it's about two and a half inches thick with small slots where all these tools fit back in. And I can get any one of these out without moving the rest of them out. And one thing I forgot to mention was that down here is my large square. It's pretty large to fit anywhere else on here, but uh, fits pretty nicely in the bottom here. And I have a little piece of wood with a slot in it hold it there. Uh, I am a little worried that you know that this might catch on something and get bent so eventually I might put something here to cover the end of this and I was maybe going to build a box for like some more sanding supplies above it and that might house around that so. And now we have the front. This was this took the most time uh, just trying to figure out how to squash all this stuff into this tiny little space it took forever. When what I ended up doing, if I had if I had put these in here, you know, level with the ground, each one of these shelves would have been spaced really far apart to be able to pull the tool out from underneath the other one because this the angle is pretty, it's pretty steep. But if I I just this tilted them all forward, canted them forward just a little bit, and that allowed me to stack them right on top of each other. So my long files can be pulled straight out, you know, and my my longer screwdrivers nothing touches so uh, the bottom shelf is the pliers um, took me a while to figure out how to mount these a lot of the ideas I saw people were mounting them to the wall and you always have the wall behind it to keep these from flopping around so I the back plate here is is just for that because like when I put these on here and you hang them they would just hang like that and they'd stick way out and it looked bad <laughs> so I put the plate on there and now everything's straight up and down uh, these metal cutting shears, they have these knobs on them, and so when I put this one on here, it was way up here, and I didn't like that, so I cut this notch out, and they sit down a lot farther. The shelf above that is all of my files, like all of my files, crazy amount of files on here. I have my, my large set of files, and then some, you know, medium set, and then a small set, and then my needle files, and then my diamond needle files, and it all fit right here. So I, I got a lot of files right there. So whenever I need that particular one, it's handy. Uh, and then these are my chisels, so they fit down in these little specially made holes. There's actually a plexiglass shield front and back behind that that you can't see, but that keeps the, the blades safe. They don't touch anything, and nobody can cut themselves on it. All right, the next shelf up is all of my screwdrivers and bits. Here's some nail sets, you know, and a punch, that sort of stuff. Uh, countersink, and then some adjustable wrenches. So that, that all fit on there. I mean, I have a lot more screwdrivers. I just didn't need to put my, you know, foot-long screwdrivers in here that I rarely use. If I do need them, I still have them. I can go get them, but I don't need them as handy as the rest of this stuff. Uh, here's all my countersink drill bits for the size screws. And then up here is the bar where I keep my tape measures and safety glasses. Uh, 
it took me a while to kind of think of this idea, but you know, I, I'm really happy with it. I ended up putting a bunch of magnets on it. So this is the Allen wrench that adjusts these countersinks and it's handy. I don't have to go dig for through my Allen wrenches to find that one size. I just have that. This is the, the bottle opener that I used for opening my cans of paint and finishes and paste wax, that sort of stuff. So it's just handy. I have it there. This is my old man eyes, my safety glasses. I hate looking for safety glasses. I set these things all over the place, but now I just have a spot for them. So I probably will park this tool cart mostly by the door so when I'm on my way out, I can put my pencils back, I can put my glasses back. I don't know how many times I've brought all of my pencils into the house because I put them in my pockets, I walk inside when I'm done, and then I come back out and I don't have any pencils out here. That's so annoying, but now it's this, it's the same with my tape measure. I don't know how many times my tape measure ends up by my desk in the house and I come out to the shop and, you know, but now I have a place for it and it just works out so perfectly. Next is the, the top box and it's full of all sorts of good stuff. All right, so this is looking down at the top box. Uh, I made a little organizer on this side for, you know, the craft sticks, epoxy, carpenter's pencils, pencils, sharpies, utility knife, exacto knife, calipers, a little scraper, you know, there's no blade in it right now, um, you know, little uh, wire brushes, all that sort of thing. Down in here, it's kind of a work in progress. I was going to build more organizers, but just don't know what size to build everything. So for now, I've just, you know, got uh, like toothpicks and a little PVC pipe and Q-tips in a Dixie cup. <laughs> Down in the bottom there is the razor blades and exacto blades. There's a little sanding block miscellaneous glues, rolls of different kinds of tape, uh, scotch Bright pad, lighter, all that kind of thing. So that's what goes in the top and so far everything is really handy and accessible. I don't have to go look for the one roll of masking tape that I need. I've got three different sizes there, my double sided tape. You know, it's all just really handy. This cart is, I think it's going to be amazing. Even just building this cart as I put more tools on it, it got easier and easier to build because the tools I needed were already on it. It was it just was so exciting to, to see the process and how well this is going to work for me. Well, there it is, folks, my tool storage cart. Thinking about calling it the R2D tool utility droid cart, but I'd probably get sued, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> anyway, um... If anything I change, I'm going to put some bigger casters on it. These ones are just too small. Uh, the weight limit's fine, but, you know, it's small cracks, and when there's dust and other things on the floor, you know, like, it has a harder time rolling over it because the wheels are too small. So I'm going to put some bigger ones on it. Um, the frame is glued and screwed, so it's pretty pretty beefy, but everything else is just uh, attached with screws, so I could modify it any way I want. If I want to move my screwdrivers down, I can do that, or, you know, whatever. Um, if you build one, the, if you, you can use the frame, uh, I put plans on the, in the description, so use those if you want them. They're not great plans, <laughs> but if they're there, they're free, so use them. Uh, but everybody's tool cart will be different. Everybody's tools are different. Um, your priority on where you want things is different. So uh, it's just really interesting to see how, uh, how this will work out for me. And then uh, I'd love to see if, how it might work out for you guys if you build your own. So let me know. Comment, leave me some comments, tell me what you think, subscribe, share it, like it, all that stuff helps. So uh, thanks for watching.